two in the country, right? Exactly. So you gotta ask somebody else. Hey, uh, what was it like for you to see your name on national television, uh, your your team, and hearing you're gonna go play at Duke? Oh, it's awesome. I mean, it just goes to show the hard work that we put in from, from the summer. I knew when we got here, we had a really special group. And every day we just practiced hard. We got after each other. And, you know, I think really in the tournament, our defense showed. Mount St. Mary is a 30-point game, and, and we just really battled that out defensively. Siena, we came back from 15 down, and then Manhattan, we really battled on the board. So we've just won in so many different ways, and I'm really proud of this group. So to be able to share that moment with them was really special. And you had a special shooting uh, time the third quarter against Manhattan, getting uh, the three threes and uh, the team six uh, to uh, to uh, take the lead in that game. What did it take? What, how, how confident were you at that point in, the, in your shooting? Uh, we were all very confident. I think, like, coming out of the halftime locker room, we knew that the offense was going to start flowing. And once we went on that run, we kind of knew we had that championship. Um, I think that our team is super unselfish. We find each other in great spots. So the shots are always going to eventually fall, and they really did in that third quarter. And you're from Rockland County? Uh, which town? I'm from New City, New York. I went to Albertus Magnus High School. Why did you pick Iona? Um, so I graduated from Merrimack College. I played four years there. I absolutely loved it. Great people, great atmosphere. Um, I was just, uh, with the COVID year, I wanted to experience something new, um, and I want to be a special ed teacher in New York. So to get my master's in New York was huge. And just when I came on campus for my visit, I just knew Iona was the right place. You know, Coach was really big on selling the Mind on Two campaign, and I knew what players like Juana Chameleon and Ketia Theus like we could really build something special here. But uh, regardless, those two are awesome. But the rest of the team, like our bench really just bought in no matter what. And it, they're just really special people and I'm happy to be here. What is this team gonna need to do to pull off the upset when you think about going into an environment um, like Cameron Indoor Arena and playing a team like Duke coached by Kara Lawson? Yeah, I mean, uh, Carol Lawson's a legend. Um, Duke Cameron Indoor, it's like been my dream since I was a kid to go there. Uh, so this is going to be really cool. But our team, we never go down without a fight. I mean, our defense is one of the top in the nation. And that's what we're going to go there and we're going to do. We're going to play hard and we're just going to play our game. And we'll see, we'll see where it goes. But I think I'm really excited and I believe in this team more than anything. You said this team was special, and it, it's been quite the turnaround from the past few years. Why, why is this team so special? There's so much said about the diversity of this team and how well you guys gel, but what, what would you say is the kind of it factor about this team? I think our chemistry, 100%. Uh, like you said, we're diverse. We're really unique in that we have more internationals <laughs> on the team than we do uh, girls from the U.S., but that's what makes us so special. Each person brings something different to the table, and we mesh so well. Like. We're not just friends on the court. Like, we're friends off the court, and that really helps us. And I just think that, like I said, like, our bench buying in was the biggest thing for us to be able to win that championship. Like, we do not win that game without the, those girls. And whether you play 40 minutes or you play zero, everybody bought into their role, and that was what made us be able to win that. Um, what is it like uh, just having so many teammates from just different countries, different cultures represented? Uh, have you learned a lot of things? Um, what are some of your favorite things that you've kind of picked up? Yeah, no, it's awesome. I mean, without, I think it's just through the game of basketball. That's the most beautiful thing about it. I would, I would probably never meet people like uh, them without the game. So I think it's really special that this game brought us together. And yeah, I've learned a lot of things. I've learned some Hebrew phrases, some Spanish phrases. I've learned more about cultures. So I think it's really cool. And they're all just great people, and I'm glad to be here with them. When you were at Mary Mac, you guys couldn't compete in a conference tournament. So what was it like in your only year to finally get a crack at playing in a conference tournament, let alone winning? Yeah, so, so my first year at Merrimack, we were a Division II school, so I played D2 one year, and we could play in the playoffs then, but then we had that postseason ban. Um, so to be able to play my fifth year in the playoffs, I was super hungry for it. And obviously, uh, the rest of the seniors were really hungry for it. We just knew it was our last go around, so we wanted to, to go get that championship. When you think about Coach Chambers, Coach of the Year, uh, Mac Coach of the Year, and, and just, again, what, what you were saying about the bench, getting everyone to buy in, the, you know, the recruiting of this team, what makes her such a great coach? 
Um, I think it stems from off the court. She cares about us as people before she cares about us as players, and that's what makes her so amazing. I just knew that right away. Like, she checks on you. She wants to know about your family, you know. Like, it's not just on the court things, and I think that being able to build that relationship off the court helps everybody be able to buy in way more on the court. She's a really great person. How long do you till you get your master's degree here at Iona? I graduate in May, and I'm applying for teaching jobs now, so hopefully uh, something goes my way. That's great. What was your, your experience at Iona been like? It's certainly been a lot with basketball and, and going for an important master's degree like that. It's been great, honestly. Uh, it just goes back to the people here. They're so they're so special. I mean, this year they've really made my year. Like I I wanted to end my career out good, but I couldn't have, couldn't have ever pictured this in my head. I knew we were, we could win a championship, but the the to be able to build those relationships with my teammates is is amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, kid. Thanks, guys. Thank you.